Fuck me. If I knew we was going to a bar mitzvah, I'd have brought me fucking skull cap. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, Tottenham's due north. Are you lost? Or just fucking stupid? Still a stand-up comedian, eh, Dunham? Oh, all right, mate. You know, back when the major was doing your job, he wasn't nearly so chatty. Probably because he wasn't quite so nervous, either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the major always preferred a scrap to your yammer. What's that? What is that? Yammer? What is that? You reckon? Yeah. Mate, I think you should get on the next train and fuck off out of here. Oh, yeah. Before oh, yeah. something bad happens. I do believe oh, yeah. The major will be interested to see exactly what that is. I mean, you're not exactly top-flight mob these days, are you? <laughs> hey? More like a two-bob mob. <laughs> See? Now, that's just plain rude. But, hey, if you fancy it, who are we to let you down? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on, then! 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 I'm telling you, you don't need Lewis. No, I know, look, I will trade you Keyshawn and Maddox for Lewis, and I'm gonna be losing out on this deal. Because Keyshawn, he's back with the, uh, he's back with the old coach, he's back with Parcells, and they are gonna be an unstoppable team. You know that, I know that. Hey, look, man, he was comeback player of the year. You know, not many guys have thrown over 6,000 yards. Come on, you don't... Let me call you back. I gotta deal with something. Buckner. That's $10,000. I think it's a pretty good deal. We never had a deal, Jeremy. Look, I know you got screwed here. But I have my family's reputation to protect. I mean... A Van Holden getting expelled from Harvard. It's no way. I've got a little more at stake here, Matt. Buckner. Come on, man. My dad is definitely gonna get reelected. When I graduate, I'll totally hook you up. Thanks, bro. You're really saving my ass.
My name is Matt Buckner. Last spring, I got kicked out of Harvard two months shy of my diploma. But what I was about to learn, no Ivy League school in the world could teach me. Terrorist attack? What happened here? Oh, welcome to Match Day Madness. Tottenham was in town last night. Are you a soccer fan now? Oh, don't let them hear you say the word soccer. Who's them? British Empire. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Matt, meet Ben. Can you believe that? Hey there, little guy. He's adorable. Yeah. It is so good to see you. But what are you doing here? Doesn't make any sense, Matt. Why would you have been expelled if you didn't do anything wrong? It was my roommate. He's a total coke. Somebody tipped off campus security and we got our room searched. They found his stash and my stuff. Guess he'd been hiding his shit in my closet the entire time. Really? Yeah, really. No, I mean, it's just, you know, you could tell me if you were taking it. It's not like that. So you fought it and they didn't believe you? Matt, you fought it, right? Look, you don't know who this guy is. He's a Van Holden. I wouldn't have even had a chance. So what did Dad say? You've reached Carl Buckner. Oh, he'll be in the Ivory Coast for the next 57 years? Cobble this time. Oh, whatever. Seriously, though, when you spoke to him, what'd he say? I didn't tell him. He doesn't know? Well, you know what? If I was you, I probably would have done the same thing. Yeah? I mean, once he finds out that his golden boy just got kicked out of Harvard, he'll probably dive head first into an empty swimming pool. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Oh, Steve's home. Hi, baby. Hey. <laughs> I've got a surprise for you. Oh, um, we have a guest. This huh. is uh, my brother, Matt. Matt. Hi, mate. Hi. How you doing? It's good to finally meet you. Yeah, and you. You finally uh, made it across the pond, then, did you? Yeah. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> Who's this? Come here. <laughs> oh, I missed you. Come here. Oh. Yeah. I missed you, my little Lord Ben. Mm. Honey, you want some tea? Yeah, that'd be great. Ooh, tea, huh? Get over it. <laughs> it's a good looking little geezer, isn't he? Yeah, it sure is. Listen, Matt, I'm really pleased you're here, mate, but I kind of made some plans for tonight. I've got this whole romantic evening set up. I've got the babysitter booked, and we're going to 
Tickets to see Chicago? You wouldn't mind if I go, would you? Oh, excuse me. Aye, aye. Quite brave. Jesus, Shannon, you look rough. You look funny, guy. <laughs> Matt, this is Pete, Steve's brother. Pete, this is my brother, Matt. Hey. Hi, son. Good to meet you. Well, ben. And we'll stand till I die. Yeah. And we'll stand till I die. Yeah. I know I am. I'm sure all I right, am. All right. All right, babe. Mm -hmm. See you later, Ben. Well done. What, what are you doing here? I thought you were going to the match. Well, technically, yes. But what's happened was me and the boys got into a bit of a drinking session last night. One thing's led to another. Yeah, let me guess. You've lost your wallet. And my keys. Ah, there's a taxi outside. Top bloke, my brother. So. How are we? Oh, a colonial cousin? Fine, thanks. Fine, thanks. <laughs> Your brother, you couldn't make a hundred, could you? Yeah, I just piss off sound. Oh, fuck off, come on. Get some drinks in, get some drinks in, get some shut drinks in. Shut up. Just shut up. I'll tell you what I'll do, all right? I'll give you a hundred. You take Matt here to the match. Oh, fuck off. You're having a bubble. Bruv, you know I can't take a yank to football. Yeah, you can. And you're going to be on your best behaviour, do you understand? Go on. Well, come on, then. Cheers, man. Don't get much time on your own. Boy, listen to me. You don't give him the money. Okay, no way. It's fair for the boys. All right. All right. Matt, where are you going? Uh, I'm going to the soccer game with Pete. But you just got here. I know, but I'll, I'll catch up with you later. Yeah, have a good time. See ya. I don't want him hanging out with Pete and those thugs. It's all right, he's a big boy. He can look after himself, can't he? Look at hand. Come on. Do I have it? Mm -hmm. Just one in sour pies. <laughs> yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How much do you love me? A lot. That's not enough. Look, mate, I'm not being funny, but the last thing I want to do is take you to the match with me. So here's how it works. Give me off the money, I'll go to football, and you can have a wander around where Churchill took a Tom, or whatever it is that you Yanks do in Jolly Old. A Tom? A Tom? A Tom tit, shit. It's Roman slang. Like, bees and honey for money. Oh, I could say it to you. Give me the fucking bees. I made a promise to Steve. Well, Steve ain't here, is he, mate? I am. And to be honest, you're pissing in the wind if you think I'm taking you with me. I'm not giving you the money. You ain't really got a fucking choice, mate. And you're starting to get on my tits. Give me half the money. Cops! <laughs> well, how fucking stupid do you feel now? Come on, then. Dance for me, Yankee. <laughs> Serves you right for fighting like a bleeding tar. But try that again and I will kick the shit out of you. Yeah, the Tom out of me, I get it. Get up, come on. So, I'm guessing you're not much of a fighter. A fighter? That's probably the first fight I ever had. You call that a fight? Fuck it. I will take you with me. You might learn something. About soccer? Nah, mate. Not about soccer. And for fuck's sake, stop saying soccer. Come on, hurry up.
What are you talking about? Baseball is a girls game. The Red Sox have a guy that pitches a ball at over 90 miles an hour. Who cares? All that means is he can have a wank faster than you. Come on. Think about it. I just don't get it. What is it with you Americans? You start a fucking war, bottle it, then we have to come save your ass again. But save our ass? Yes. And then, on top of that, you kill off our soldiers in friendly fire. But well, that's called an accident. Yeah, accident my ass. <laughs> All right. Watch on him. You all right, mate? Look. I'm sort of going into my place of business, right? Shut up until you've spoken to and you might have a better run of things. Only thing regarded worse than a yank around here are coppers and journalists. What do you got against journalists? How long you got? The lying fucking scum who wrote anything just to fill papers. I mean, not your old man, of course. He's the exception, maybe. That's the point. These boys don't know about your old man. And if I was you, I'd keep it that way. Another thing. What you hear in here stays in here, all right? No blabbing to brother Steve about how your day was or who said what. What happens at football stays at football, all right? Yeah, all right. Let's have some fun. It's football day. All right, Pete. Aye, aye! Yeah, good, yeah, good. How you doing, mate? Hi, right, boys. Pal. This is Matt, Shannon's boat. You got Ned? Sweet. Hey, Ned. Dave? Dave, Dave Biano, mate. Hey. Nice Swill? Mate. Hello, Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Ike? Hey, man. The one with the dodgy haircuts, Keith. Hey, Keith. I'll get the drinks in, then. Yeah, cool. Well, I'll get a drink, Does that mean I'm getting a drink, shit? Every fucking yeah. time. Every fucking <laughs> time. Don't you get pissed off all the time. It's fine. It's fine. Let's bother. He's been in the tight for about 15 minutes, like Dodgy Ruby or something down in Bengal last night. No, look, look, he looks lost. No, Ruby Mary Mayton means curry. We call it cockney rhyme and slang. Slang, yeah, like uh, bees and honey for money. Yeah, it's just oh, it, yeah. Struggling grunt for cunts. Oh, you went dark. <laughs> Why'd you go there? I like a cunt. That's like sick, Dick Tank. For you ain't. Hello. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. How you doing, all right? Yeah, sweet. This is Matt, Shannon's brother. Hey. That's the proper right. He don't give a fuck, old daddy. He's done with a fuck. Mate, he's practically found it. Oh, mate, he's fucking painful. Bob's a miserable cunt. We love him dearly, don't we, boys? Like a fucking brother. Matt. Grab his last two pints for Yeah, sure. Hey, Matt, why are you up there? Get uh, some sort of clean up, Matt. Sure. Good boy. Oh, come on. He's all right, man. Oi, what's with all the fucking babysitting? You know he had a meat set up for the day. It's all right, Bob. I'll just stay out the way. It's all right, we didn't have it last night. What? It's not the bloody point, is it? We look like right mugs if we set something up and our fearless leader don't show because he's playing Pinotel on a fucking yank. Nah, that's right, man. He's got a point, man. You let me worry about that. Why, right, boys? As for the Yang, he's too modest to tell you. But back in the States, he's an internationally ranked double black belt in karate. Is he fat? Look at the size of him. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bloody karate kid film based on his exploits. No. Really? What, that yeah. Bastard. Really? Yeah, it's true. Fucking straight. Buttocks. Buttocks. Come on, why not? You're lying already. You've been here fucking five minutes and you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> Officially cockney the boy. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, what was your coach's name? Uh, 
Little Chinky, what was his name? Remember the little Chinky? He was your oh, coach. In the, in the first All fucking three of them, for fuck's sake. Why weren't you in the fourth one? Why'd you let no, the side down? No, it, it was about. I remember thinking, why the fuck were not Yeah, but you weren't there, mate. You let the bird was in it. Remember that? I wanted it. I wanted it. Fuck you. Why weren't you in that fucking film? You let the side down. What was his fucking name? Your mentor, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember it. I mean, you owe it all to him. I can't remember it. Wait, wait, wait. Miyagi. 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 Is it? Is it? Miyagi, Miyagi, Mr. Miyagi. Mr. Miyagi. Miyagi. He was based on a real person. What? Wow. Like, wow. based on a real person. Wow. That's fucking out of order if you ask. Wow. Wait, so did they pay him? Of course he got fucking paid. Imagine this. Just imagine the situation, right? Someone. Imagine the situation. Someone uses you in a fucking film. Don't pay you, brother. Don't tell if you're saying this. I'm just. This is real stuff that I'm talking about. The real Mr. Miyagi. Shan, you a bit of courtesy, you being Shan's brother, no? We get it straight. We don't like outsiders. All right. Look, I'm gonna head home. I'm not feeling so hot. Jet lag. Oh, fuck off. You're not missing the game. You're the one who wanted to learn about soccer. <laughs> I forever blow in Watch country in the world. Keep your head down. Sweet, in it. Come on.
Ah, uh, don't worry, I ain't over yet, boys. Word is these twats are gonna have a pop. What are you heard? Not the usual. Fucking Zulus, it's like 50 or more of them mobbing up in the tube right now. It's gonna kick off near East Ham, so. Tough going, boys. What are we standing here for? I don't understand. Let's go then, bro. Let's get them. Maybe I should head home. Yeah, yeah, you know where you're going. Back to Shans. Bank Station, right? Yeah. But keep your head down. Bloody Birmingham lot will be on the tube. Well, that's all right, I'll manage. Why? Right. For fuck's sake, we'll need to be better in a crash. Don't get on it, he's there, right? If you see any trouble, just turn around and walk the other way. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Come on, Let's go, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the young one with the GSC? GSC? I don't know anything about the GSC. I'm just a tourist. Oh, well, in that case, how's about we leave you with a proper souvenir? <laughs> Ever heard of a Chelsea Green? Huh? Oh, come on, please. <laughs> Do you take American Express? <clears throat> I bet the Major gave out his shares of Chelsea Greens back in the good old days, eh? Back in the days when the GSC weren't so slapped till he went the wrong behind. <laughs> we don't leave our mates behind. <laughs> you horrible bastard. Oh, he's getting away. Let's go. Come on. Don't lose sight. I'll get the van. Where the fuck's he gone? Too foot small. Where the fuck is he? I'm getting too old for this shit. Seriously, I could use a beer and a lie down. <laughs> oh, he is. He is. He's bad. Get it out of first. Can't get it out of your mum. <laughs> she has to be fine inside, right? Come on, lads, back to the Abbey. Who's round it? Who's round it? Who's fucking round your pig ears? Who all yeah, it's your round it, Ned. Come on, Ren. Oh, shut up, Moody. Oh, it stinks. Oh, it stinks of well, man. Who was no. that? Oh! 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 Oh, <laughs> 
Fucking maniac, man. Look at me. Fair play, son. There's plenty of wood a bottle there. Done a run out there and you stood your ground. Good for you. I'm proud of you. Good. Who was he there? Who? Geezy was just fighting. Oh. Jeremy Van fucking Holden. You've done yourself proud, mate. Well, now we've all stopped kissing each other's arms. He's got a point out. <laughs> the first punch he threw. Yeah. A little bit on the feminine side. What? Bit gay. Little okay, bit Larry Grayson. Larry Grayson. Larry Grayson. Come on. Larry Grayson. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You don't want to get pinched. He's got it. Let's push him up now. Come on, Morning, sunshine. How'd you feel? Oh, a little sore. Ah, uh, English breakfast, double dose of aspirin. You feel sweet as a nut, mate. <sighs> yeah. I got a piss like a racehorse. Fucking journals. Look at this. West End wins 3 0 in a blinding performance, and our little scrap makes the headline. Bloody muckrakers. So, what is this? Bollocks journal bullshit. No, no, this, the GSE. Shh. Hold it, son. What are you guys, like an organized political movement or something? No, mate. We're a firm. You never heard of a firm in the States? No. What? Right. Every football team in Europe's got a firm. Some have two. Christ, I forgot how clueless you Yanks are. Well, you've seen the bus, the stadium rides on TV, innit? Come on. See, West Ham football's mediocre, but our firm is top-notch and everyone knows it. The GSC, Green Street Elite. Arsenal, great football, shit firm. The Gooners. Tottenham, shit football and a shit firm. The Yids are called. I actually put them in there through a phone box window the other day. What about Millwall? Ah, uh, Millwall. Where to even fucking begin with Millwall? Millwall and West Ham firms hate each other more than any other firms by far. Sort of like the Yankees and the Red Sox. More like the Israelis and the Palestinians. <laughs> we haven't played Millwall in 10 years. Their top boy is this geezer named Tommy Atcher. Horrible old cunt. Back in the Majors day, Tommy's son was killed in a scrap. After that, he went completely mental. Lost the plot. Well, who's the Major? Ah, the Major. Quite a legend around here. He ran the GSE in the early 90s when I was coming up. Hardest bastard you ever saw. They say we kind of lost our way when he left. But believe me, my boys are bringing the old GSE reputation right back. So basically, firms are gangs? Kind of. But we're a far cry from all that Bloods and Crips bullshit. I mean, shooting a machine gun out of a moving car at an eight-year-old girl. That's just cowardly. See, we might be in a fight and all that, but it's really about reputation. Humiliating another mob in a row, or doing something that the other firms get to hear and talk about. Like a yank in his first fight, battering one of Birmingham's main lads. <laughs> yeah, love, sit down. Thank you. Is that all right? Well, Pete, I don't know how to thank you for what you did for me. I'll give another four. Yesterday was a good result for us. We had a laugh, we had a few pints, cheered on the mighty hammers. We was completely outnumbered, but we stuck by our mates and we stood our ground, no matter what happened. That's what it's all about. Who the fuck 
fucking state of him. Now, don't fucking start, what? What did I say to you? I said to you one simple thing, no trouble. It had nothing to do with me. He's walking home, he gets jumped. Bruv, he's lucky we was there. Yeah, that's right, Pete. I mean, you're a real hero, aren't you, mate? And you saw the old thing from your sofa, did you? Tell you what, bruv. You concentrate on your family and leave my business to me, all right? My family? What is it with you? What is it with you, eh? Do you want Mum to come and visit you and Nick? Is that it? Maybe you want the plot next to Dad. Oh, my God! Man, what happened? Shannon, I'm fine. Can't you see what you're doing to this family? Oh, I see. He's a scared old man. Don't say to me Get off him! You've got the wrong idea! Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Leave it! Leave it! Get out! Get out! No. Babe, I'm so sorry. Well, that weren't the smartest of moves, mate. But thanks, yeah? Fancy pint? No. Oh, come on. You're the one got to buy the bleeding thing. <laughs> Get your cash out, the fat bird's about to sing. So you still got the dough, you got it? Yeah, dough. He's got a fucking oh, shot. 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 Jesus, you two joined at the fucking hip or what? Leave it there, Bob. It's getting old. No, I'm starting to wonder about you two. I mean, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you was a couple of gay boys. <laughs> Bob. Yeah. We've known each other for a long time, yeah? I trust you more than any other bloke I know. But you're getting dangerously close to crossing the line with me. If you've got a problem, then it's your fucking problem, not mine. But if you want to discuss it further, we can go outside. Beers, boys. Hey, Bob. Come on, it's your shot, mate. Hey, come on. Yeah, come. Fuck with that. Come on, we're going, mate. I can't believe that you came all this way and you didn't even stay the night. I just didn't mess anything else up for you. Oh, you didn't mess anything up. So, you and Steve are okay? Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. All right. I'll call you from Pete. Matt, please don't go. It's just, you know, Steve feels so horrible about what happened, and he really wants you to stay with us, and so do I. I don't want you to stay with Pete. Well, I want to stay with Pete. You know, Pete and his thug friends aren't the answer. What are you talking about? What answer? You know, I've, I've been begging you to come and visit me for the last three years, and you, you didn't even come to my wedding, and it's just you don't know my husband, and you haven't even held your nephew, and you show up on my doorstep yesterday, and you're leaving already, and... Well, look who's talking. I mean, you ran to another fucking country after Mom died. I'm sorry. Come visit me. Yeah, of course. Jeremy Van Holden? Sounds like a cunt. Mate, if he'd done that to me, I'd smash seven shades of shit out of him. <laughs> Sounds like these other boys would slit your throat in your sleep. What was you studying before this geezer stitched you up? History. History? I teach history. You teach? Yes. Cheeky slag. History and PE. What, do you think the GSE paid a bloody wage? Mate, I'm smart as fuck. Come on, it's brass monkeys out here. Class, today we have an extraordinarily distinguished guest. Mr. Buckner is an American who went to the finest university in the United States, Harvard. But despite his prestigious education, Mr. Buckner 
still thinks that baseball is better than football. Oh, I know, boys, it's an utter sin. Now, it's our job to save this even from his evil ways and teach him what really matters in life. And that is... Football! Exactly. We're going to play five a side. Mr Buckner will be goalie for the away colours. Now, go easy on him, boys. You know how these Americans bruise. <laughs> right, so how do we keep this fair? I should let every other ball go through or something? I wouldn't worry about that, man. Oh, you ready? Some pathetic goalkeeping from the away keeper. All right, get yourselves changed, boys, all right? That's what I call a real ass whipping. Oh, set me up. That was like the Junior Olympic football team, right? No, mate, just regular English boys. Tell you what, we've got history next. Why don't you come and say a few words about the American War of Independence or something? They get a kick out of you in it from a real life colonial. Well, American history isn't really my specialty. Mate, the 10. Teach him whatever you want. Well, I, I sort of have plans with Shannon this afternoon, so. All right, fuck you then. We'll have a beer later, yeah? Yeah, yeah, see you at the pub. All right, mate. Who are you? Who are you? These kids, he set me up, man. I'm in there. I'm in Son, all right. I'll say one thing for you. You've got some fucking front shame in your face over this side of the water. Do you know there's plenty of people round here love to kick your fucking ass, given half the chance, son? There's four of them stood over there. Fucking right, son. So tell me, Bob, what's all this I'm hearing about your firm gone all fucking international? Eh? Don't you even fucking think about ignoring me, you little cunt. Now I said, what's all this bollocks I'm hearing about you having a little yank on the phone? It's only temporary. Temporary, eh? Do you think I might be able to get a bit of quiet here? I'm trying to have a fucking conversation! So 
Oh, look at you, little bother. I'm grown up now, look. How many is your other little girl, uh, Petey? Petey. She at home, is she? Trying to get her little toes into the Major's big fucking shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess we was pretty small back then, son. Back in your day. You always did have a bit of bottle, you. So tell me, Bob. You come over to Millwall. Did you come alone? Excuse me a minute, Bob. Hello. I'm Tommy. Tommy Atcher. Yeah, I know. Oh, you know? Well, now you see, that's bad. That's really, really bad. Because now you ain't got no fucking excuse, have you? We're not keeping that shit cunt of yours quiet. Excuse me? George, you can't talk to me like that. George, your bird hasn't stopped fucking rabbiting since I've walked in here. Now, can I recommend that you shut her up? So I can continue my conversation with our guest there, Bother, of the once proud GSE firm. You can't tell me. <laughs> Tommy, the pack is called the album, mate. Come on, we best fuck off. Tommy, we best fuck off sharpish, mate. I'll see you again. Soon, bud. I'll be back till tomorrow night. Be gentle with her. And remember, left, left side. side. Right. You seem nervous. Nervous? Fuck off. What's on your mind, then? Just two little words keep every hammer in England up all night. United our way. Oi, oi! Aye, aye. Oh, mate, you all right? Yeah, right, big man. Yeah, not bad. Hello, man. Hello, Hello mate. All right, all right. Thank you. <laughs> Where's Bother? Fuck knows. He's been a pain in the ass all week. He must have PMS. Pretty much stress. Guys, we weren't cunt at the minute, innit? Oh, come on, Pete. The train's in five minutes, man. Yeah, yeah. hang on. His fucking phone's off. Can't believe he's gonna pull a runner for United away. Yeah, they're going to be gunning for you too, mate, after the job you pulled on their top boy last year. <laughs> what happened last year? I might have gone a bit over the top. Yeah, just a bit, eh? Where's Dave? You heard from him? You? Oh, everything's just falling right into place, isn't it? I'll go. <laughs> no, mate. <laughs> what? I'll go. You can't just go up there with I can swill. Oh, no offense, mate, but we can't take passengers on this trip, all right? Go on, piss off. I'll give you a bell later. So how many reds you reckon you're gonna turn up today? Right? Fucking hell. No. Catchy! Pick him on B right. Two fifty-five trade manager. Oi! What lads? Sweet mate. Bother? Yeah. I thought we agreed to meet in the car park. So that right here. Look, Bob, if you wanna play the wanker, that's fine with me. But leave it out until we've got to stay out the way, all right? You know what, mate? Sweet. Keith, Sweet. come on, boys. Yes, have it! No, I'm not lending you any more fucking you money. Fucking I don't owe you anything. Come on, play the game. Come on, play the game. You never fucking paid for the last time, you cunt. You're taking a piss or what? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What are you doing here, man? I thought it was just the three of you. Oh, ain't that sweet? That's what, this is your proper plan, then, eh? Hey, going in with a fucking mug. Sit down, mate. Come on, man. Hello, mate. 
Dave, where are you? Yeah, sorry, Mr. Pell. Listen, yeah, the flight was in there. Like, fly faster. I'm here. What, Manchester? Yeah. There's like 40 of them like, waiting here, all getting very fucking excited. So, right, listen. Do you hear that? Yeah, man. They don't wait in here for you. Don't roll into Manchester, do you hear me? All right, nice one. Oh, laters. We are fucked. What's happening? They're waiting for us at the station. What, they know we're on here? Yeah, must have been a scout watching us get on. How many? 40, 50. <sighs> Can't we just get off at the next station? No, nah, this is a fucking express train. Don't stop till Manchester. Yeah, right, bruv. We don't show up now, we'll claim a result. No, fuck that, we gotta get to that station first. Are you insane? We just got away. Oh, do you wanna shut the fuck up? You shouldn't even be here. This is what it's all about. It's what we fucking live for. Fuck him. All right, here's the plan. I call Dave, tell him what's happening. It's about 12 miles to Manchester. We need a couple of cabs immediately. Fuck! Where's all the fucking cabs? Pete, I got an idea. I thought I told you to shut up. Oh, oh fuck you, Barbara. You oh, oh, Cut to that! Fucking cut it out! What is it? Where the fuck are these cunts? That train should have been here ten minutes ago. They'll be here soon enough, mate. There's no way off that train. Stay sharp, lads! And remember! Nigel gets that Dunham cunt all to himself. Nice one. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck you one. Oh, sorry, guys. We're with Paramount Pictures shooting the new Hugh Grant film. We got to get this gear through. Hugh Grant film? Any decent women in it? Cameron Diaz, I think. I hope so. She's fit as fuck. fuck yeah. All right, lads, let this cut through. Thanks. <laughs> Give me 30 seconds and I get the fuck out of here. Famous, where's your famous, where's your famous GSA? Where's your could have died that day in Manchester. Everybody knew it, but we didn't. Ike said later that the story traveled across England faster than the death of Lady Di. The GSE were finally back. Suddenly, I was part of the firm with the best rep in London. People around town had heard of me. They would hear my accent and say, so you're the Yank. You know the best part? It isn't knowing that your friends have your back. It's 
knowing that you have your friends back. I'd never lived closer to danger, but I'd never felt safer. I'd never felt more confident, and people could spot it from a mile away. And as for this, the violence, I gotta be honest, it grew on me. Once you've taken a few punches and realize you're not made of glass, you don't feel alive unless you're pushing yourself as far as you can go. Tell me. I had to find out from your sister that you were expelled. Why didn't you call me? I did. The machine answered. You could have left a message. Well, I'm tired of having a relationship with your voicemail. You know what? I don't need this. Hey, Matt. Matt, come. Hey, come on. Shannon says you were set up. Is that true? Yes. But then why didn't you find me? Why didn't I find you? What's your fucking point? My point is this doesn't look good, Matt. You say that you're set up. You don't even contact your own father. We could have fought this together if you were innocent. If I were innocent? Yeah, if you're innocent, why didn't you ask for my help? Do you really think I'm a drug dealer? Obviously, I don't know. Yeah, but what do you think? I don't know. Well, that's why I didn't find you. Of course you don't know what to think. You don't really know anything about me. So you, uh, you came to England? Yeah. Okay, what now, Matt? What's the plan? What do you really want? That's just a question. Listen, Carl, do you really expect me to unburden myself to you? You just show up and decide you're the dad again? Look, I, um, I have to go to the London Times. <laughs> you're unbelievable. You know that? It's just someone I'd like you to meet. I'm not five years old anymore. It takes a little bit more to manipulate me. Just an old friend from my Tribune days, I thought. But you thought all it takes is a handshake from the editor of the Times and I'll have my old life back? It's just a free lunch. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the quarter-final draw for the Football Association Cup. The oldest and most prestigious tournament in world club football. Fortunately, today, we have with us the West Ham legend, Mr. Frank McAvinney, and chairman for our sponsors, Mr. Phil Peters. As usual, the home team will be drawn first. Frank. Number two. Number two. Cardiff City will play. Number three. Number three, Liverpool. Yes. Number seven. Seven, London will play. Number six. Number six, Newcastle United, bit of a northeast derby. Yes. Number eight. Number eight, West Ham United will play. Number five, Millwall. Fucking yes! 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 Well, mate, we got him, mate. What oh, brat, this is gonna go off. Oi, 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 oi. You're not gonna believe what I've just seen walking to the Times. What? Oh. A little yank, mate. I fucking knew it. I knew there was something dodgy about that little cunt. Yeah, mate, you slight. Yeah, I'll tell you what, pick me up after work. All right, mate, all right, I'll see you after work. Sweet. You know, your sister's worried sick about you. She says you're running around with some kind of gang. It's not a gang, Dad. They're my friends. Or are you at least writing about it? Am I writing about it? No. Hey, Matt, listen. I want you to come home with me. What? No, look, you may not trust me as your father, but as a fellow journalist, I'm telling you, your reputation is all you have. You've got to get back to Harvard. You've got to clear your name. We can... We can fight it together. Oh, forget it, Dad. 
I'm not going home. Look, if it makes you feel better, I am keeping a journal. It's one thing you taught me I held on to. I knew that. I was just making sure. <laughs> hey, Steve. How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Matt? Hey. Listen, I'm gonna get changed. What time's your flight? Oh, you take your time. My cab will be here about half an hour, so, uh, I have to say farewell to my grandson anyway. I, I gotta take off, Dad. Oh. Okay, Matt. Look, I know things have not been... Uh, but great to see you. How you doing? Good. So you'll be celebrating the draw with the lads, then? The draw? Wait, who do we get? We don't know. Oh. Oh, come on, Steve, who? No, wall. At home. just watching my dad playing with Ben. He's already a better grandfather than he ever was a dad. You know, he seems like a decent bloke now. For a bloody journey. <laughs> mm. So he was an arsehole when you were growing up. Guess that's why I need you to join the old man's racket. What do you mean? You know, followed in his footsteps. What are you talking about? Matt did. What do you mean? Well, Matt was always a little more fascinated with our absentee father than I was. Sean, what do you mean Matt did? That's what Matt studied at Harvard. He was a journalism major. I just really hope that he gets back to it. You know, once he gets your brother out of his system. So he's a yank and an undercover journo. Looks like we'll have to give the boy two funerals. A boy from the land of apple pie, dropped in a culture of an eye for an eye. We're up for combat and beyond that. Sky News News at 10 are beyond that. I want to work with you outside. What happened? Shannon okay? Yeah, Shannon's fine. Why didn't you tell me? Steve huh? Dunham just... Why back. didn't you tell me you're doing journalism? Not, I quit. Jesus, what difference does it make? Listen, mate, to some people, yeah, it makes a huge difference. Well, what would you know about that? Listen to me. I like you, but you have no idea what you're getting into. Now, I've got to tell my brother that his new best mate is a journalist. So me and you are going outside now. <laughs> Toast! Stevie Dunham. Back in the Abbey after all these years. Welcome home, Major. The Major! Oh, Major! Yank you? No. He's a fucking undercover journo. What? Nah, bollocks. Uh, straight, mate. I see him down the times with all the other journalists, shaking hands and all that. I mean, proper pally. What's all that about? Think about it. Drops in out of nowhere, never been in a scrap in his life, snugs in nice and tight with a top boy at a firm. For fuck's sake, Pete, what else was he doing at the times? 
Nah, that means fuck all. Could be in any one of a hundred reasons he was down there. Well, this time I'll have to make sure that myself. You sure of this, Bob? Because if you're coming in here like this, you fucking well better be. Yeah, watch out, son. What, this is, is it? Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck is this? Hey, Keith, you know about all this sort of stuff. Have a look. Here we go. First match, West Ham v Birmingham, home. Pete brought me to the Bridget Abbey pub on Walsh Road, his main hangout, and introduced me to his gang. Oh, look, we're fucking gang there. Yeah, I'll make you go up. <sighs> Bother is Pete's thuggish right-hand man. Keith, he sort of bothers in falsa. <laughs> you happy now? We're all in here. You didn't say nothing about me. Wait, I'll put some clothes on. So you were the Major? I was the Major. I guess there's some I still am. That Terry here was my right-hand man back in the glory days. That was a long time ago, though, mate. How did you get out of it? Well, I was a crazy bastard back then. All I fucking cared about was my reputation amongst the firms of England. I mean, you've heard all the stories about Millwall, yeah? Last match I went to was Millwall West Ham. We're talking a good ten years ago. I mean, we've been waiting for this match all year. At Millwall, yeah? Stepping into their ground, completely outnumbered. We were fucking wired from the start. Now, Tommy Atcher. He was their main man back then. He used to bring his 12-year-old boy to the grounds, Tommy Jr. Always banging on how he brought this kid up, you know, to be like a little pit bull. But we lost that match, 3-0. And those Millwall cunts started laughing at us. And I just fucking snapped. I mean, I couldn't let it lie. So I assembled all our troops and we hunted them down. I saw that little lad go down. And I saw his skull get crushed under the boots of the GSC. I never went to another match after that. And I left the major behind. And that's when I met your sister. She was my angel. She really saved me. Showed me a new life. Let me forget all this bollocks. And she swore she'd leave me if I ever returned to her. And when it comes back to me, and believe me, mate, it fucking does that madness. I mean, when I hear, you know, the, the roar of the stadium on match day, yeah, all the lads calling me down here to get pissed out of me fucking tree. When I think of that, I think about getting back into it. With Shannon and Ben, they remind me. There's more to life than all this. Get all those juicy details, mate. Writing it all down. What? You fucking journal! You sure you know what you're doing here? He's fucking undercover! Don't tell him nothing! I said, are you sure? What? You already knew? All I know is he studied journalism right at Harvard, but he's dropped out. We found this journal, full of stories about all of us. Just the 
fucking diary. Ned saw you at the Times with a couple of journals. That was my dad. He's the journalist. You knew that. Your man's a fucking journal and you knew about it. Look, that don't mean nothing, you fuck. You what? He studies to be a journal. His old man is a journal. What's the fucking difference? You let one of them get in with us. I wasn't trying to get anything. You shut the... I don't care who he is or what he's done. You don't do someone on the deck. What's fucking wrong with you, eh? He's gonna bury us all in white. You just gonna sit down and watch him do it? Nah. Nah, Steve. You're the major. You started this firm. I'm speaking for all the boys here when I say we've got the biggest ruck of our lives coming up and your brother's too much of a bold job to lead us. The GSC is Pete's firm. All right? He calls the shots. Yeah. Well, fuck the lot of ya. Do you see? Get a fucking one! Move! Get yourself cleaned up. Fuck's all good, yeah. Mark, sit down, so sweet. That's it, there's your told you, Mark. Fuck off. <laughs> you know we're gonna have to stop meeting like this, don't you, son? I think we're gonna start the talk. So what you doing up so late anyway on a fucking school night? Shouldn't you be at home with the rest of your pals all shitting out of the four of us turning you over? <laughs> <laughs> what you had a lover's tiff? What do you want, bro? Fucking Yanks and undercover journal. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a boozer now? Tom, we've got to give him the chop. He's got a meeting out of the palm of his hand. What makes you think that I want to sort it out for you? Eh? Some majors there, too. Stevie Dunham's in. Oh, thanks, Pete. Shut up! It's just you and my ass. Who the fuck are you? Look, I'm sorry I lied about being a history major, but that's it. I'm not a journalist. Well, it don't look fucking good, does it, Matt? Why are you keeping a record? It's just a journal. I've kept that my entire life. Are you working? For the times. No. I'm telling you the truth. You've got to trust me, Pete. Mate, you've put me right fucking in it. If I don't convince those boys that the head of their firm was not just taken by a fucking yank journo, the GSE is done. So I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna tell him that Bob's got it wrong and that you're one of us. And I had better be fucking right. So, Bob. Is there anything else you want to tell us? Listen, Tom, please, this is how it's got to go down. <laughs> Fuck you, Bob! Fucking way! Hey, you're the only one going down, little bother. <laughs> Grass. Heck, no, good Fuck! This shit with bother could tear this firm apart. Mate, I need you. Stay with us just for a meal while. I'm not going to help you. I made a promise to my wife and kids, all right? And I'm sticking to it. You know, they're 
comes a time when the best reputation you can have is the one where you found it. Hello, boys! Fucking Abby out all these years. Oh, uh, Tommy. Tommy, I'm done with all this, mate. Retired, did ya? You? Got yourself a yank wife, did ya? You? Had a son of your own, did ya? Listen. I had a son once. I know. Do you I'm remember sorry. him? Do you fucking remember I'm him? I'm sorry. It's too late. Oh, oh you bastard. Oh, oh fuck. No. Oh. Too late. Oh. Oh. You listen to me. Tommy. You die tonight, and me and you are even. Trust in lads. You always said trust in lads was my problem, Bob. I trust lads too much. Trust the Yank too much. This is how you prove your point? Backstabbing me. Teaming up with Tommy Hatcher to kill the Major? Kill my fucking brother? Tommy, just say the word, and I'll do it. I don't need you for that. I don't need you for anything anymore. <laughs> Go away. Oh,
Shannon. Yes. Shannon. Yes. You're sick. You're so sick. She said that she's gonna be okay. She said it's just gonna take a little time. We're leaving tomorrow. It's not safe for us here now. Hanging in. What's now? You let Tommy know I want to straighten that. Tomorrow. All right. We finish this once and for all. Somewhere quiet. Away from our bill. Oh, your mate still wants security at Trinity Wharf. Yeah. Galdeman. Set it up. Sure. flight to Boston. You can't leave him. He was trying to protect us. You can't do this to him, Shannon. Yes, she can. She has to. So should you. I'm going with you to that wharf tomorrow. <sighs> Jesus Christ. They crash our pub. They put your brother in the hospital. That ain't your problem anymore. The fuck are you talking about? I've got just as much at stake here as you do. Matt, listen to me. It's time to go home. I don't know where my home is anymore. I think we both know where it ain't. Mate, this is my fight. It's my brother in the hospital. I'll take care of Tommy. Go on, mate.
You're doing the right thing, Matt. Yeah. <sighs> you know that back home, nobody's going to care about your rep here. You know that, right? Where's Matt? Finally went out. Come on. This is Charlie 27, MPCP 501, at Bristol Road, Durban, heading southeast ahead. Down its way. Matt? Matt? Matt?
least one of you Dunham cunts are gonna pay for my fucking fight! Well, my brother, never could turn down a good scrap, you know me, bro. Let's find me out, man. Tommy! Don't you want to finish me off, then? You already finished, little PT. The NTO will take care of you in a minute, you mug. We didn't kill your son, Tommy! You did! You should have protected him, mate! He was your son! Don't you talk about my he fucking was your son! son Don't talk about my fucking son! Get in the fucking Get motor! The motor. Get in the fucking car! Don't leave him, poor little hammer! His face was all buttoned and torn! He made me feel sick! I hit him with a brick! Now the cunt's not laughing or singing! No more! He's on the other side of here. Go! You can't leave it. Hey! Hey! Fucking help him! Pete Dunham's life taught me there's a time to stand your ground. His death taught me there's a time to walk away. I would never have the chance to thank him, but I could live in a way that would honor him. Ha, 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 ha. 
It's too much. <laughs> well, congrats on the Epstein account, Van Holden. That should be a nice commission. I bet your father's election had nothing to do with it. Fuck you very much, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, if uh, you will excuse me, I must partake once again in this restaurant's fine facilities. <laughs> Fucking lucky bastard. You look like shit. Hey, Buckner, do you mind? You said you'd hook me up. What? I took the fall for you to Harvard. You said you'd hook me up. You gotta be kidding me, man. They were your drugs, and you said you had more to lose, and that you'd hook me up if All right. Were... Yes, I said I would hook you up. Jesus, man, I, I'm in a meeting right now. Call my office, talk to Cindy, she'll make an appointment for you. You gotta be joking me, spineless shit. That you'd hook me up if- All right, yes, I said- The I fuck is this? This? It's my ticket back to Harvard. Give me that. I wouldn't do oh. that. Oh. Oh. Bubbles in the air, they fly so high, they reach the sky, and like my dreams, they fade and die. Fortunes always like it. Now 
willing and the ones who was children we supposed to be building a better day for tomorrow i feel like we climbing a mountain biggest killer in china if you feeling the sorrow you know that your heart is a hollow i'm ready to lead a new mission are you ready to follow i swallow government interests so their excuses to follow our corporations killing millions with abuses of power i refuse to sour to just sit by and be quiet but i'm curbing my urges so these motherfuckers are riot we got a question no weapon use for revving up in our habitat the pen is mighty or whitey you want to go and grab a gap Let me remind you, just let me play so I can smile. 